Miguel Cotto versus Gennady Triple G Golovkin. That's a heck of a fight. And that sounds so fucking good at Madison Square Garden. Um, that would sell out for sure. But Gennady Golovkin might have to uh, weigh in lighter than 160 if he wants Miguel Cotto. This is exactly what Freddie Roach is saying. Shout out the boxing scene. Um, this is the quote from Freddie Roach. He hits very well. I don't think he has the best defense in the world. But he's a very offensive fighter and a puncher, Rocher said. If we did the fight with him, I'd like the fight to be closer to 154 pounds to make him come down a little bit. He's very strong, but I think uh, we definitely could negotiate a fight for sure. Cotto made 155 the last time against, him, against uh, Sergio Martinez in that fight. Uh, so there you have it, guys. This is a. To me, this is fucked up. I I, I disagree, uh, with with catchweights and boxing. I don't like them. I didn't really like it for Mayweather versus Canelo. He didn't have to do that. It's an added advantage, and unfortunately. Uh, fights like that, and you know we can't give Manny Pacquiao a pass. Fights like Manny Pacquiao versus Antonio Margarito, where, you know, Pacquiao fought Antonio Margarito for 154 junior middleweight uh, title. And at 150 pounds, that was a fucking catchweight too. Freddie fucking Roach was right there behind the scenes making that shit happen. And it's fucking ridiculous. And he's doing it again for Miguel Cotto while he's trying to defend... His 160-pound middleweight championship, supposedly the lineal middle. This is the guy we're calling calling the lineal middleweight champion, as Max Kellerman loves to say. Does not even want to fight at 160. And that, you know that that fucking that's another part of boxing. It's leaving a sour fucking taste in my mouth when when this, fighters are supposed to be fighting at their fucking weight classes. Let's be real here, guys. Uh, Miguel Cotto needs to fucking defend his title at 160 or fucking go find the title at 154 if he wants to fight a fucking <laughs> closer to 154. You know, there were there. It's, it's ridiculous where stardom overshadows boxing's traditions, man. Fucking, you know, champions are supposed to defend their weights. Instead, he's fucking making up his own weight class, like 157 or some shit. It's what Miguel Cotto's doing. He's making up his own weight class because he's a naturally smaller fighter. And he knows Gennady Golovkin is a fucking beast. <laughs> That's what it is, guys. And, and you know, I, I, I shouldn't be talking about Miguel Cotto directly. This is Freddie Roach talking. That's Cotto's trainer. You know, it, it, it might not... Be exactly what Miguel Cotto wants, but based on what we saw uh, with Cotto versus Martinez, he definitely was calling the shots in terms of uh, the minor details of the fight, and uh, I think he was exposed on having diva demands. So I think with Miguel Cotto, I don't think he's in a, I don't think he'll turn down any advantages that he could gain, and that's certainly one of them is a weight advantage. Uh, Freddie Roach has... I. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to say it. Freddie Roach has ushered in a fucking weight, catchweight bullshit into boxing, uh, beginning with Manny Pacquiao. And, um, you know, maybe part of the responsibility is fucking Floyd Mayweather's. Floyd Mayweather also did it against... Juan Manuel Marquez back in the day, that first fight, at a catch weight of 145. But, you know, in, in a way that, I you know, it's hard to say because then he came overweight too and, you know, whatever. He paid Marquez off. That's neither here or there. I'm just bringing up the point of catch weights being ushered in. And it's now a regular thing. We're seeing fights over and over again where they're at a catch weight. When, 
and, and and the worst part is titles are on the line. That's what I hate about. It. You have these fucking trinkets, supposed to be world championship belts, and, and they're degraded. You know, prestige is lost when when specific weight class titles are being fought for in catchweight fights, and that's continuously happening in boxing. So, just let me know what you guys think. Just what what the fuck is this, man? Roach is asking for a catch weight in order to, to make this fight happen. Let me know what you guys think.